Hello everyone, this is Refresh and I'm here to bring you a battle between the Arch Enemy Nicol Bolas deck and the three Magic Gathering Clash packs. They have been assembled in their final form, combined with the two decks. Over here we have Fate and Fury, Power and Profit over there, and Armed and Dangerous over there. We'll be playing one game using the full Arch Enemy rules and we'll go ahead and get started by drawing our opening hands. Nicol Bolas draws a Prognostic Sphinx, Cruel Ultimatum, Flame Tongue Kavu, Mountain, Nightscape Familiar, Doom Blade, and Mountain. Two Redlands is not a keeper, so we're going to mulligan this. Because this is multiplayer, we get one free mulligan. Nicol Bolas draws a Blood Tyrant, Bone Picker, Obelisk of Grixis, Grixis Panorama, Bone Picker, Crumbling Necropolis, and Prognostic Sphinx. Again, I think a two-lander is not going to work here, especially with so little being able to be played early. So we are going to mulligan down to six. And we have a Prognostic Sphinx, Mountain, Drowned Catacombs, Lightning Bolt, Slave of Bolas, Flame Tongue Kavu, and Archfiend of Depravity. I don't like that we still only have two lands, but I think we're going to have to keep this one because going down to five seems like a poor choice here. We'll take the Prognostic Sphinx and put it on the bottom. Fate Fury draws a Jace's Ingenuity, Horizon Chimera, Forest, Forest, Voiding Satyr, Temple of Mystery, and Karametra's Acolyte. I think that this is an acceptable first hand. Power and Prophet draws a Herald of Torment, Sultai Soothsayer, Font of Fertility, Commune of the Gods, Necropolis Fiend, Forest, and Sultai Charm. We can't keep a one lander, so we're going to use our free mulligan. Power and Prophet draws a Forest, Nick Sweeper, Reaper of the Wilds, Necropolis Scene, Forest, Debilitating Injury, and Nemesis of Mortals. Again, we can't really keep this. There's no black mana and tons of black cards here, and so we are going to Mulligan. Now we have a Swamp, Brain Maggot, Whip of Erebos, Forest, Nick Sweeper, Swamp, and Sultai Soothsayer. We don't have any blue mana, but I think that this is still going to be a keeper. Because we don't have any blue mana, we're going to take Sultai Suits here and stick that on the bottom. Armed and Dangerous draws a Scoured Barons, Valorous Stance, Collected Company, Evolving Wilds, Plains, Blossoming Sands, and Plains. This doesn't have any action at all, and so I think we have to mulligan this hand. Armed and Dangerous draws Feet of Resistance, Lightwalker, Windswept Heath, Dragon Hunter, Forest, Ultimate Price, and Passivism. This is a weak hand, but I think it's one that we are going to be able to keep, and so we will do so. Because this is multiplayer, we'll draw on our opening hands, and so Nicol Bolas will draw a Reckless Spite. Then Nicol Bolas will reveal the first scheme. This is Choose Your Own Demise. Scheme, when you set this scheme in motion, look at the top four cards of your library. Separate them into a face-down pile and a face-up pile. An opponent chooses one of those piles, put the cards in that pile into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. We draw a Harvester of Souls, Nightscape Familiar, Island, and Highland Lake. We haven't given our opponent any information yet and so what we want to do is get our lands get settled here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put the two lands face up and the two creatures face down. This will encourage our opponents to give us the lands. And we will ask Fate and Fury to make the decision. They make the obvious decision in taking the lands. We'll take the lands and then we'll put the rest into the bottom in any order. We'll put the Harvester of Souls up top. And now that we have played all of this out, we're going to start with a mountain because we have a Lightning Bolt in hand. And then Nickel Bolts will pass the turn. Fate and Fury draws a Horizon Chimera. Power and Profit draws a Forest. Armed and Dangerous draws an Evolving Wilds. Fate and Fury will play a Temple of Mystery. It's a land that enters the battlefield tap. When it enters the battlefield, scry one, and you can tap it for green and blue. We'll scry the island, and we will leave that one right on top for now. Power and Profit will play a Forest. Armed and Dangerous will play a Windswept Teeth. This is a land, you can tap it and pay one life to sacrifice it. Search your library for a Forest or a Plains and put it onto the battlefield, then shelf through the library. We'll immediately tap it, pay one life to go down to 19 and sacrifice it to go searching for a planes. We put it on the battlefield, we'll shuffle. Then we'll pay one mana and cast the Dragon Hunter. 
This is a 2-1 human warrior with protection from dragons and it can block dragons as though it had reach. The players are going to pass the turn, but just noticing now that we have already hit max hand size, so we have to discard anyways. We're going to be discarding the Reckless Fight. The player's turn ends, and Nicol Bolas' turn will begin. We'll draw. Nicol Bolas draws a Soul Ransom, and then we'll activate the next scheme. It is the Mighty Will Fall scheme. When you set the scheme in motion, choose an opponent with the highest life total among your opponents. That player loses 7 life. We will choose... Fate and Fury, since they have the most cards. Fate and Fury will go down to 13. We don't have a whole lot going on right now, so we're going to play the Highland Lake. It is a land. It enters the battlefield tap, and you can tap it for blue or red. And then Nicol Bolas will pass the turn. The Clash Packs untap. Fate and Fury draws an island. Power and Profit draws a Sultai Charm. Armed and Dangerous draws an Undercity Troll. Fate and Fury plays the Forest, taps both of these, and casts a Voyaging Satyr. This is a 1-2 Satyr Druid. You can tap it to untap target land. Power and Prophet will play a Swamp, and then they'll tap both to play a Brain Maggot. This is a 1-1 Enchantment Insect, and when it enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose a non-land card from it, exile that card until Brain Maggot leaves the battlefield. We will exile the Soul Ransom. Armed and Dangerous will play a Forest. We'll tap both of these and cast the Light Walker. This is a 2-1 Human Warrior and has flying as long as it has a plus one plus one counter on it. We'll go to combat and send the Dragon Hunter at Nicol Bolas. Nicol Bolas takes two and goes down to 38. And the Clash Packs will pass the turn. Nicol Bolas untaps, draws a Crumbling Necropolis. We'll unveil the next scheme which is no one will hear your cries scheme when you set this scheme in motion each opponent chooses a creature he or she controls and then sacrifices the rest this only affects armed and dangerous armed and dangerous will keep the light walker and sacrifice the dragon hunter since nickel bolus doesn't have any three drops to cast we'll go ahead and play the crumbling necropolis so land enters the battlefield tap you can tap for blue black or red and then nickel bolus will pass the turn the clash packs untap Fate draws a Forest, Power draws a Nyx Weaver, Armed draws a Outland Colossus. Fate will play a Forest, we'll tap the three lands and then use the Voyaging Satyr to untap a land and then retap it for four mana. Then we'll cast Karametra's Acolyte. This is a 1-4 Human Druid, you can tap it to add an amount of green to your mana pool equal to your Devotion to Green, that is two right now. Power will play a Swamp, we'll tap three mana and cast the Nyx Weaver. This is a 2-3 Enchantment Spider with Reach at the beginning of your upkeep. Put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard. You can pay one black green to exile it and return target card from your graveyard to your hand. Armed will play the Evolving Wilds. This is a land. You can tap it and sacrifice it to search your library for a basic land. Put it onto the battlefield tap and then shuffle through your library. We'll immediately tap and sacrifice it, searching for a forest. We'll go to combat and we'll swing with the Light Walker and the Brain Maggot. Nicol Bolas will tap the Mountain and cast Lightning Bolt, targeting the Brain Maggot. This is an instant. It deals 3 damage to target creature or player. The Brain Maggot dies. Soul Ransom is returned to Nicol Bolas. Nicol Bolas will take 2 damage from the Light Walker and go down to 36. Then the players will end their turn. Nicol Bolas untaps, draws a Doom Blade. We'll activate the next scheme, which is Make Yourself Useful. When you set the scheme in motion, destroy a target creature and opponent controls. If the creature was destroyed this way, you gain life equal to its toughness. We'll choose to destroy the Karametra's Acolyte. The Acolyte dies. Nicol Bolas gains 4 life and goes up back up to 40. Then on the second main, we will play the Island. We'll tap 4 mana and cast the Flame Tongue Kavu. This is a 4-2 Kabu. When it enters the battlefield, it deals 4 damage to target creature. We'll be doing the 4 damage to the Nyx Weaver. The Nyx Weaver dies. And then Nicol Bolas will pass the turn. The Clash Pack's on tap. Fate draws a Nessian Game Warden. Power draws a Satyr Wayfinder. Armed draws an Incremental Growth. Fate will play a Forest. We'll tap out. Tap the Voyaging Satyr to untap a forest and retap it to cast the Nessian Game Warden. There's a 4 5 beast. When it enters the battlefield, look at the top X cards of your library where X is the number of forests you control. You may reveal a creature card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. We'll look at the top three cards. 
We have a forest, a nemesis of mortals, and a faded intervention. The only choice is the nemesis of mortals, so we'll put that in our hand. And we'll put the two on the bottom with the faded intervention as second to last. Power will play the forest. We'll tap three mana and cast another Nyx Weaver. Armed will tap two mana and cast Pacifism, targeting the Flame Tongue Kabu. This is an enchanted aura. Enchanted creature can't attack or block. We'll go to combat and swing with a Light Walker into Nicol Bolas. Nicol Bolas takes two and goes to 38, and the Clashbacks pass the turn. Nicol Bolas untaps, draws a Crumbling Necropolis. We'll set our next scheme in motion, which is power without equal. When you set the scheme in motion, draw three cards. You have no maximum hand size until your next turn. If you control six or more lands, you may cast up three non-lands from your hand without paying their mana costs. We draw a Cinder Baron, Swamp, and Sphinx of Jawar Isle. Do not have six or more lands. So we will play the Drowned Catacomb. It's a land that enters the battlefield tapped unless you control an island or a swamp. And you can tap it for blue or black. Nicol Bolas will tap five mana and cast Slave of Bolas. This is a sorcery. It says gain control of target creature. Untap that creature. It gains haste until end of turn. Sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. We'll go ahead and get control of the Nessie the Game Warden. And then we will go to combat and attack Fate and Fury with the Nessian Game Warden. Fate takes four and goes down to nine. The Nessian Game Warden is sacrificed at the end of the turn. And Nicol Bolas passes the turn. The Clash Packs will untap. Fate draws a forest. Power draws a Nyx Weaver. And then we'll go to upkeep and mill the top two cards, which are a Satter Wayfinder and a Swamp. Armed draws a collected company. Fate and Fury will play the island and will decide not to play the Nemesis of Immortals, knowing that Nicol Bolas has the Soul Ransom in their hand. Power and Prophet will tap four and cast the Whip of Erebos. This is a legendary enchantment artifact. Creatures control have lifelink. You can pay two black black and tap it to return to our creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. It gains haste, exile at the beginning of the next end step. If it would leave the battlefield, Exile it instead of putting it anywhere else. Activate this ability only anytime you can cast a sorcery. Armed and Dangerous will tap two and cast the Undercity Troll. This is a 2 2 troll with renown one. You have a two and a green to regenerate it. We'll go to combat and we will swing with the Light Walker, the Nyx Weaver, and the Voiding Satyr. Nickel Bolts will take five and go down to 33. Power and Profit gains two life and goes up to 22. We'll go back to Nickel Bolts' turn. He'll untap. We draw a Swamp, we'll unveil the next scheme, which is Delight in the Hunt. When you set the scheme in motion, create a 3 3 Black Horror creature token and prevent all damage that would be dealt to creatures you control this turn. Then we'll play a Swamp. We'll tap 6 mana and cast Sphinx of Jawar Isle. This is a 5 5 Sphinx with Flying and Shroud. You may look at the top card of your library at any time. We have a Vampire Nighthawk right there, and then Nicol Bolas will pass the turn. At the end of Nicol Bolas' turn, Fate will tap 4 mana and cast a Horizon Chimera. This is a 3-2 Chimera with Flash, Flying, and Trample, and whenever you draw a card, you gain 1 life. We'll untap. Fate draws an Island, we'll gain 1 life to go back up to 10. Power draws an Opulent Palace, we'll mill 2, we'll mill a Hero's Downfall and in Evolving Wilds. Armed and Dangerous draws a Suspension Field. Fade and Fury will play another Forest. Power and Profit will play the Opulent Palace. This is a land that enters the battlefield tapped. You can tap it for black, green, or blue. We'll then spend three more mana and cast another Nyx Weaver. Armed and Dangerous will do nothing and the Clash Packs will pass the turn. Nickel Bowl is untapped. Draws a Vampire Nighthawk. We'll look at the top card, which is a Swamp. We'll unveil the next scheme, which is pay tribute to me. When you set the scheme in motion, each opponent sacrifices a creature. If you control six or more lands, each opponent sacrifices another creature. They will be sacrificing two creatures each. Fade and Fury will sacrifice both of their creatures. Power and Profit will sacrifice both of their creatures. Armed and Dangerous will sacrifice both of their creatures. Nickel Bolts will go to combat and swing their two creatures into Fade and Fury. Fade Fury will take 8 and go down to 2. Nickel Bolts will follow up by casting 
the Archfiend of Depravity. This is a 5-4 demon with flying at the beginning of each opponent's end step. That player chooses up to two creatures he or she controls and then sacrifices the rest. And Nicol Bolas will play the Swamp. Then Nicol Bolas will pass the turn. Before the end of the turn, Fate and Fury will tap four and will cast another Horizon Chimera. Then we'll untap. Fate and Fury draws a forest and will gain one life to go back up to three. Prime Prophet draws a forest. Armed and Dangerous draws a Honored Hierarch. Fate and Fury doesn't see much of a chance of survival here, but confers with Armed and Dangerous to see that they can take out the Archfiend. And so we will hold on attacks and spend four mana to cast the Nemesis of Mortals. This is a 5-5 snake and it costs one less for each creature in your graveyard. You can pay seven green green to Monstrosity 5. This ability costs one less for each creature in your graveyard. Fate will also play a forest. Pyro will play a forest. We'll tap two forests and cast the Satyr Wayfinder. So 1-1 one, one Satyr, when it ends the battlefield, reveal the top four cards of your library. You may put a land card from among them into your hand, but put the rest into your graveyard. We reveal a Commune of the Gods, Debilitating Injury, Opulent Palace, and Island. We'll take the Opulent Palace and put it on our hand, put the rest in the graveyard. Armed and Nature will tap the forest and cast the Honored Hierarch. This is a 1-1 one, one Human Druid with Renown 1. As long as it is Renown, it has Vigilance, and has tap, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Then we'll spend two more mana to cast Suspension Field, this is enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, you may exile target creature with toughness three or greater until it leaves the battlefield. We'll exile the Archfiend. Archfiend goes down. That's all the clash packs have. They pass the turn. Before the end of the turn, Nicol Bolas will tap two mana and cast Doom Blade. This is an instant. It says destroy target non-black creature, targeting the Nemesis of Mortals. The Nemesis of Mortals goes down. Nicol Bolas untaps, draws a swamp. We'll start the next scheme, which is My Laughter Echoes. It's an ongoing scheme. Whenever you set a non-ongoing scheme in motion, you may abandon this scheme. If you do so, set that scheme in motion again. Nickel Bolts will play the Crumbling Necropolis. Then we'll spend four mana to cast the Soul Ransom. It's an enchantment aura. Enchant creature, you control enchanted creature, discard two cards, Soul Ransom's controller sacrifices it, then draws two cards. Only an opponent may activate this ability. This will steal the Horizon Chimera. And this puts Fate and Fury vulnerable, so we'll attack Fate and Fury with the Sphinx and the Horror for lethal. Fate and Fury dies. This will remove all of Fate and Fury's cards from the battlefield, which also includes the Horizon Chimera. The Soul Ransom will go to the graveyard. Then Cobols will spend three more mana and cast the Vampire Nighthawk. This is a 2-3 Vampire Shaman flying and Death Touch and Lifelink. And then Nicol Bolas will pass the turn. At the end of the turn, Power and Profit will tap 4 mana and then activate the Whip of Erebos. We will return the Satyr Wayfinder to the battlefield, which will take a look at the top 4 cards of the library. We'll take the Forest and put it in our hand and then mill the rest. And then the Satyr Wayfinder will get exiled. We'll untap. Power draws an island. Armed draws a top and free blade. Power will play a forest. Power will tap four mana and activate the Whip of Erebos, bringing back the Nyx Weaver. And then we will try to get some value by tapping three mana and exiling the Nyx Weaver to return a card from our graveyard to our hand. That will be the hero's downfall. Armed and Dangerous will spend two mana. We cast a top and free blade. This is a 2 2 human soldier with vigilance and renown 1. And then the clash packs will pass the turn. Nicol Bolas untaps, draws a talisman of indulgence. We'll reveal the next scheme. It says, My forces are innumerable. It's an ongoing scheme. At the beginning of your end step, create a 3 3 black horror creature token at the beginning of your opponent's end step. They may sacrifice two creatures. If they do, abandon this scheme. Nicol Bolas will. Spend two mana, cast a Talisman of Indulgence. This is a artifact, and tap it for colorless, or tap it at black or red to your mana pool, and it deals one damage to you. We'll also play a Cinder Barons. It's a land that enters the battlefield tap, you can tap for black or red. We'll go to combat, and we will swing the entire team at power and profit, because it seems like they are the next most dangerous group. Power and profit wants to 
be able to use their whip one more time. I think they can take 10, so we'll go down to 12. Nickel Balls will gain two life to go up to 35. My forces are innumerable, will trigger, and we'll get a horror. And Nickel Balls' turn will end. The class cracks untap. Power draws a Merciless Executioner. Armed draws a Consul's Lieutenant. Armed is going to attack Nickel Bolas with the top and free blade. Nickel Bolas will block with the horror. Armed will spend two mana to cast Feet of Resistance. This is an instant. It says put a plus one plus one counter on target creature control. It gains protection from color of your choice until end of turn. We'll choose black. That will make the top and free blade a 3-3. Three, three. The horror dies. Power will play the island. We'll spend four mana to use the Whip of Erebos again bringing another Sadger Wayfinder onto the battlefield. We'll look at the top four cards. We'll put the forest into our hand, and then we will put the rest in the graveyard. We'll go to the end step and we'll sacrifice both Sadger Wayfinders. One of them will go to exile, and that will end the ongoing scheme. My forces are innumerable ends. Then Nickel Bolts will untap. Nickel Bulls gets a cruel ultimatum. Nickel Bulls will unveil the next scheme, which is when will you learn? When you set the scheme in motion, each opponent exiles the top card of his or her library. You may cast any number of non land cards exiled this way without paying their mana costs. Power exiles a Sultai Soothsayer. Nickel Bulls will cast that. Armed exiles a Swamp. Sultai Soothsayer is a 2 5 Naka Shaman when it enters the battlefield. Look at the top four cards of your library, put one of them into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. We have a Crumbling Necropolis, a Reckless Spite, Swamp, and Obelisk of Grixis. We'll take the Reckless Spite. We'll attack Power and Profit with the three creatures for another 10 damage. Power and Profit goes down to two. Nicobolus will tap seven mana and cast Cruel Ultimatum. This is a sorcery. Target opponent sacrifices a creature, discards three cards, then loses five life. You return a creature card from your graveyard to your hand, draw three card cards, and then gains five life. We will target Power and Profit. Power and Profit dies. Nickel Bowls will lose the Sultai Soothsayer. Nickel Bowls has no creatures in their graveyard to return. They draw a Submerged Boneyard a Talisman of Dominance, and a Crumbling Necropolis. Don't think we played our land for the turn, so we'll go ahead and play the Crumbling Necropolis. And then I think we just tap out and cast Reckless Spite. This is an instant. Destroy two target non-black creatures. You lose five life. We'll target the only two creatures that Armed has. We'll lose five life and go to 30. Armed loses their only two creatures. Ne Cold Bolts will pass a turn. Armed and taps. Draws a Light Walker. We continue to have mana problems here. We'll tap two mana and cast the Light Walker. And then Armed will pass a turn. Nickel Bolts and taps. Draws a Icefall Regent. We should also note that we hit with the Vampire Light Nighthawk last turn, so we should have two more life going up to 32. We unveil the next scheme, which is There's No Refuge. When you set up the scheme in motion, it deals three damage to up to one target creature. Create a 3-3 Black Horror Creature Token. We'll go ahead and hit the Light Walker. We'll get a Horror. Light Walker dies. Nickel Bolts will swing everybody at Armed and Dangerous. Armed takes 10 and goes to 9. Nickel Bolts will play a Submerged Boneyard. It's land, it enters the battlefield, tap, can tap for blue or black. We'll spend 2 mana to cast the Talisman of Dominance. This is a artifact. You can tap it for colorless. You can tap it for blue or black, and then it deals one damage to you. We'll tap both of these for colorless, and then tap these three mana to cast the Icefall Regent. This is a 4 3 dragon with flying, and when it enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls. That creature doesn't untap during its controls untap step for as long as you control Icefall Regent. Spells your opponents cast that target Icefall Regent cost two more to cast. There are no creatures to target, it's just another threat. And then Nickel Bolts will pass the turn. Armed and taps, draws, finally gets a land, but a little too late. We'll play the Jungle Hollow. It, it, it is a land, it enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, you gain one life. You can tap for black or green. We'll go back up to 10. And we cannot cast anything, and so Armed will pass the turn. Nickel Bolts again should have gained two life from the Vampire Nighthawk, so we should be at 34. Nickel Bolts untaps. 
draws a overseer of the damned will activate the next scheme which is every dream and nightmare when you set the scheme in motion each opponent discards a card you draw a card for each land card discarded this way we'll activate that twice with my laughter echoes Arn will discard the consul's lieutenant and the incremental growth we don't really need to do much else we'll just swing with the entire team into armed and dangerous armed and dangerous can do nothing but die they will perish, and Nicol Bolas will defeat the three Clash Packs in their ultimate form with no real difficulty at all. Let me know what you thought about the game in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more of my videos, you can subscribe. This is Refresh. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.